This video is on how to interpret the confidence intervals. Alright, the confidence interval interpretation is always going to be the same format. It's like a form letter. It's always going to say we are some kind of percent confident that the mean variable of all population is between and then our confidence interval that we would find. Alright, so we are, and we get this percent by our confidence level. So confidence level percent confident that the mean weight or the mean height or the mean price, the mean score of all, and then whoever has that mean height, weight, or score, so our population is between, and then we put our calculations here. All right, so we just found that the mean price of watermelons was between $6.3806 and $7.3794. So we want to interpret that. We are, well, in our previous problem, we were doing a 90% confidence interval. So we would put 90% confident that the mean, well, we were talking about the price. So the mean price of all, well, who had the price? The watermelons. Is between, and then we put our confidence interval that we just found, which was $6.3806 point three eight zero six cents and seven dollars and thirty seven point nine four cents. So now it kind of doesn't make sense to go ahead and put four decimals, but we always want to put the four decimals. Get used to doing that. Alright.